live from Lhasa. This is a special broadcast of CCTV News Inside Tibet. In the coming week, we will bring you up close to what is called the Land of Snows. Well, Tibet, the size of Western Europe, is an autonomous region of China lived by 2.7 million ethnic Tibetans. But Tibet is not some landscape with mountains, caravans, or temples. It is a land shaped by its people. We will bring you stories of the Tibetans, who they are, how they live, what they pray, and where they're heading. And stay with us throughout this week. Well, for Tibetans, the Shantan Festival that's tomorrow is second only to their New Year. People get a week off to pray and play. And the word Shantan means yogurt banquet. But these days, it takes on all forms operations. Our reporter Wang Mama has this report. The search for enlightenment begins here. For 600 years, the Jopal Monastery has been one of the most important in Tibet. This is the first stop for Tibetans to mark Shotan. And this is a time to worship and pray. The Shotan festival dates back to the 11th century. Monks would spend weeks in retreat in summer to protect tiny creatures like ants from being trampled to death. And when they emerged, commoners would get them yogurt. Now with the passing of time, the tradition has changed, but the name remains. The Buddha exhibition marks the opening of the festival. The ceremony has been a yearly ritual at the Drepon for two centuries. We have broadened and renovated the pathway to accommodate to allow easier movement up and down the hill. As for the monks, there will be no special breakfast. Things are pretty quiet here right now. The Tanka of Sakyamuni, one of the biggest in Tibet, is lying in this hall. The monks will chant scriptures and sound the horn to welcome in the big day. And crowds of worshippers, hundreds and thousands of them, will climb up overnight to pray. Up on that platform, a giant painting of the Buddha is revealed once every year. The significance of this ceremony cannot be underestimated. It's a mass expression of the belief of centuries. And now it's showtime. Some 500 farmers and herders from around Lhasa are rehearsing the spectacle. Director Jiang Tuo feels both the honor and pressure to put things together and make sure it remains a Tibetan thing. This is going to be a state-of-the-art show in Tibet in terms of technology. But the performances are purely traditional. Tibetan identity is inseparable from their spirit. Shotan is a time to express their devotion, to renew their connection to the past. Wang Mumang, CCTV, Lhasa, Tibet. And my colleague Wang Mumang is here with me in the studio to talk more about the prep work of the Shantan Festival. Uh, good morning, Mumang. Good morning, Joya. What exactly Joya. is the Shantan Festival? Why it is a big deal for Tibetans? Well, the Shotan Festival for Tibetans, it's a religious, it's ceremonial, it's celebratory, it's about family gathering, it, and it's once a year, so it's a huge thing. Last year, about 220,000 worshippers and tourists were at the Buddha show, and now this year, with the uh, walkway renovated, we'll be expecting a lot more. And we all know that Tibetans don't mind making long and hard journeys to worship their gods. Uh, the Drepal Monastery is located on a mountain five kilometers from Lhasa, so that's quite a bit walk. It uh, usually takes a couple of hours, and many worshippers would set out as early as 3 a.m. to uh, get the best meal. Mm. And the ritual will start at about 7 in the morning, and the monks, about hundreds of them, will carry the huge painting of Sakyamuni, about the size of three basketball courts, all the, way to, yeah, all the way to the platform and pull it up to the top. So that process is going to last about 30 minutes. And after that, the worshippers will present Hada, the white silk cloth, to show their devotion. So the atmosphere will be dramatically different from what we've seen in my story. Uh, the quietness and emptiness in the monastery is because the monks are so used to this yearly ritual that they don't need to make any special I preparations. I know you're going to set off for the uh, Drapan Monastery tonight, uh, hours before a huge gathering of pilgrims. Absolutely. So why there, and what are we going to see? Well, we have to take a look back at history. Uh, Gulupa is one of the schools of Tibetan Buddhism. And when Gulupa established its rule over Tibet uh, back in the 17th century, the religious and political center